Hello and welcome to the Starter Star Toys review of Transformers Generations, who are you going to call Road Buster, with me Ash and we've got Chris here as well. Hello. Okay, so this is um, Hasbro's new take on the Deluxe 85 Autobot, who was originally joined by his good friend Will, uh, who's just got a Voyager as well, show him off later for comparison. Uh, so this was when Back in uh, 85, when um, Hasbro ran out of moulds from Takara, and they decided to look elsewhere, and that's how we got Jetfire, Omega Supreme, Skylinks, and these two, and the Deluxe Incepticons. These two came from the Dorvac line, um, and it's quite interesting because Ta Takara have chosen to release Tankor along with these two in the same wave, and in Dorvac, there was a, a little tank guy who never got a Transformers release. Uh, so that's quite an interesting homage they're doing there. Now, um, Obviously, Robust is very famous for being a wrecker. Um, appeared in Tag 2006 um, and uh, made quite an um, interesting appearance in All Hail Megatron, where he's just massive. <laughs> he's not quite that big uh, in this toy form, um, but still quite large. And um, also, um, it looks like this is based on his last Land of the Wreckers appearance. Now, he only appeared in uh, a couple of flashbacks, I believe, um, and a short story that came in the hardback about him learning to read. <laughs> Quite interesting. Um, oh, just one more thing to say before we get this guy open. Um, you'll notice that there's a new twist ties. They sort of look like um, tags that you would get on clothes, that sort of plastic tag. So, quite interesting. You just pull off and it's a lot easier. So, without further ado, then, let's get this guy open. So, it is. Uh, Robuster in his alternate form. Uh, looks very turtleish, Mad Max sort of design. Uh, nice armoured rear section. That bright, vibrant green, nice bright orange, lots of bright colours. Um, and that, these windows are a bit odd, a bit sort of smallish. And that middle bit, that section at the front, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a light or some kind of cannon. Yeah, I thought it was a cannon when I first saw it. Maybe. It's very robust, -ish. maybe these are some kind of generators or something, that detail. Nice silver paint and lots of ports so you can armour him up. True robust style. Very empty at the back, sort of a big great gaping hole. But nice suspension in between the tyres and the, uh, the frame. And he rolls really nicely as well. <laughs> so let's take a look at his launches. Nice spring lo loaded missile launcher. Does fire off quite easy that one. <laughs> yeah! You'll see that throughout the video. <laughs> nice launcher on its own, it's got a customizable port. So you can stick some other weapons on it. Like that. I don't know what weapon that's supposed to be, but <laughs> more the merrier. <laughs> that's just robuster. It's just yeah. armed to teeth. Nice details on that little launcher, nice painted missiles. Little laser pistol. Another customizing port so you can stick something else on it. detail on the barrel. It's got a little nub on the back, it sort of looks like a pop, but it's not. A nice homage to his original rifle. It's got a little magazine there, yeah. like that. Nice details, but it's got a big gaping hole on the other side. Yeah, but, really there's so. a part there, so you could cover it up. <laughs> it does sort of cover it up after <laughs> you force it in. Yeah, after force it in there. The, the parts are very, very tight, but they are going to hold, so there's that. Now this weird laser cannon, uh, now the barrel looks a bit odd, it's got that customizable part again so you can stick something else into it, even though it looks daft, but it's robust here, so lots of weapons and looking daft's not a bad thing, but you can combine it and make a big gun. So that's like the stock of a bigger gun, isn't Yeah, it? and then there's this um, tubular piece, this again has got a little part on it, uh, and it can, you can use it as a silencer, like that for a big daft gun, or you can use it as a scope. But it does tend to rock back a little bit, which can look a little bit daft. I mean, it does look better as a, a silencer. You can just stick it wherever, but it, it does look, it's a, it's a silencer at the end of the day. There you go, Robuster looking daft with a massive gun, and let's bang this missile launcher in, which is pretty tight. The, the paint uh, is a bit resistant at the minute, but after a while I'm sure it'll break itself in. Yeah. At least it's going to stick on and not it, fall yeah, off. Yeah, it's not going to fall off. It's not a worry. 
So there's lots of options to customise him and make yeah. him look tough. Lots of playability as well. I mean, that's one of the good things. So it's not like... Uh, that, that missile's just gone flying across yeah, the road. Yeah, it's, it's very trigger-happy. So it, it was with... Um, it's not Revolver, it's uh, another fans project uh, repaint of Revolver, but with the armour that's for Revolver. So you can get a good idea of what that looks like. Nice and sort of uh, alien-esque in design. There's an alien jeep on aliens that looks something like that. So it's, 70, it's 70 pounds for revolver, and then you're buying two figures that cost 160 quid for the two pack. It's whether that's worth it. Here he is next to Springer, Wrecker's leader, and Whirl, he's a good buddy. So he is Roadbuster with um, Rift Shot, which is a repaint of revolver. So you've got a good idea about the alt modes. As you can see, it's sort of a completely different, really. It's a sort of open Jeep that looks more like the original Roadbuster. Um, and you've got your little Cora figure in there, which is a nice little nice little figure. But is it is it worth that extra spend is the question. And it is quite big. It almost looks oversized to be a Jeep in comparison without the armour. Yeah. I do like the little figure, though. He's like my favourite yeah, part Yeah, he's it. really, really nice. He's a little, very detailed. It's quite, very small. Yeah, it's quite posable as well. He's got more joints than you'd expect for a figure of that size, I think. Yeah. But is it worth that extra investment? I mean, Robuster never had that, so it's it's an extra thing that they've put on there. Not, nice for the fans, but it, it, is, it, is it needed? That's the question. Do you need it? No, but I want it. <laughs> not, quite, not that hard a consummation either, actually. Just flip out legs like that. Nice, satisfying joints as well. Flip the tyres back, flip the feet out, look very clown feet-ish like this, but when you flip them around like that and just pop them, pop them back a bit, they look as bad. Yeah, Alright, I'm surprised he's not got a heel on. Like, yeah, more, more heel. of a heel would have been nicer. There's no waist rotation as well, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, it limits how you can pose him. Though. Yeah. So the arms, the arms go down and then up past that shoulder piece, pops up into there. See there's a little peg on the arm that fits into that little groove. Pop that one again up past that point. Twist his arms around. Very solid those joints on the shoulders. Um, the rotation at the arm, just below the shoulders, that, that's really tough. That, that, I'm scared of, well not scared of breaking it, but they're really, really tough joint. So, uh, also, you'll see here, I'm struggling with it, there's a little peg that sort of fits into the shoulder, up there by where my thumb is. Um, and that, that worries me a little bit. It, it sort of stressed that brown plastic a little bit and it, you have to twist it just to pull it out. It's quite tough. But once it's out, it's, it's fine. And it's easy to peg in. Once you get the knack of it as well, it's a lot easier. Bring that chest piece round and down. And there we go. There's Robuster in robot mode. Armour him up. Like I said, those parts really tight. They're not going to drop out though or anything, so... This is missile and this... launcher again. <laughs> yeah, the over-eager missile launcher, there and it goes. That's gone missing again. You still put the missile to one side. And <laughs> magic missiles come back. <laughs> yeah. Making that huge gun again. There you go. Massive gun, uh, Robuster, as it's meant to be. Bring in some comparison. So here is with Whirl. Nice deluxe sort of bots together. I think they look really well together. Colours complement each other. And nice hikes as well. Oh, I did forget a bit here. That these little these collapse in and fill in that waist. Make it look a bit more cohesive. Here he is with the Wrecker's leader, Springer look. Now, height-wise, this is a tiny bit disappointing, I must admit. You do expect Robuster to be a bit taller than Springer. Yeah, it should be a little bit taller. Yeah, he's the big, hard guy you expect him to be. And here's a sticker sheet, it's a nice homage back. And you've got that Wrecker symbol there, and uh, the Will sticker sheet as well, because Will came with one. It's nice that they're doing it, Asbro, but it's not for me. Now here's uh, what you want to see, so he's with uh, Fans Project Riff Shot, now he's a repaint of Revolver, so he's a repaint of Fans Project's version of Roadbuster, uh, with the armour as well, which you have to buy both of them to get, which is about um, 160 quid for the two pack, 
Uh, another company are going to come out with the armor, which I reckon is going to be about 30 quid, and then it's 70 quid for a revolver as well. So, are you going to pay that 100 quid or 20 quid? That's the question. Uh, you still got customizable options with that gun. Um, I mean, it's not got all these customization that uh, the Fans Project one's got, but it is very loose, Fans Projects. Yeah, it does look a little bit. I won't say flimsy, but yeah. It's with all that weight as yeah, well from can't. the extra parts. So here's a comparison of obviously a fans project to repaint of revolver and the official uh, robuster just to let you see i mean do you want that scale that's the question then the other thing is that, that is really floppy my shot sure. I, don't, I don't know if it's uh, just mine but it is really floppy just finagling with robuster there <laughs> to get a better pose in a minute i do sort um the heels out to what i wanted them to be the whole time but a bit bit longer on the heels would have been a lot better for stability for him yeah, but yeah, still yeah. a re really nice looking uh, version of robuster i think value for money the uh yeah Asbro one is blows it away at value wise and it looks brilliant with just that rifle on its own and here we are with springer so you get an idea of scale although well, springer seems to have shrunk here because he's a bit his knees are a bit bent and there is with Will as well, so you've got all your records together. So you've got an idea of scale.